All right, so I want to continue um, where I left off. This time, we're going to load in images. So following the same patterns from the previous blocks, uh, we're going to start with a another rules block. And what we're going to test for in our expression is we want to test or read in any file that's a PNG, uh, SVG, JPEG, um, we could do JPEG there in that format, guess um anything else um we could do i go okay so with this the type of loader that we would need is uh it's called a file loader and this is any other file type outside of um sas css or javascript um this could even be uh pdfs um txts um, out of the box, Webpack will read um, JSON files also. So what we need to do is install let's install a file loader and any file that we import into webpack is a module so we're going to treat this image as if it's um a module so what i want to do is i want to go image require uh no let's do this images Thumbnail. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see, why isn't it reading? So it says unexpected character. You may need appropriate uh, loader to handle this. All right, so if we go to guides and we go to asset management, this should give us the correct way to load. All right, so did I add my use? Oh, I didn't save it. File loader. Okay. All right. And so it's going to build it out as a hash image. And it's only going to be read like this uh, from this uh, bundle file. So if we went and looked for this file with, within our bundle, we'll be able to show that it's being read in see there line 97 so we go back to our um, execution and then this shows how everything's being executed within our dependency graph so we have our hashed image here we also have our um, our built out style sheet and then our bundle file here and then it shows its sizes here so it's it's looking good so far um, Let's go back. And what I want to do now is I want to um, see, um, and this is just for um, the purpose of seeing what our our um, build actually looks like as far as the style sheet goes, the image. 
we want to uh, ensure that this bundle file can actually build out or render out um, everything that's being built within our distribution folder. So to do that, we'll need to use the HTML plugin, which is here. And so let me uh, add that. Okay, now if we instantiate it again, so we const HTML plugin require uh, HTML. All right, and then let's build it. Okay, and so it's referencing our CSS, right? And then it's also referencing our bundle. So let's just say we decide to drop this in. Let's just say we, So let's just say we decide to drop the HTML file in in our distribution folder. So let's go here, drop it in and it's black. Um, let's do this. Let's do six build. All right, let's do blue. Okay. So it looks like everything's working here now. Um, there's also uh, the web server that we can use to run this, let me go back to see what like a server, I call this server. So this should run our web server for this on port 80. So let's just do this, let's copy I don't want to run it directly from the command line. Let's just do that. Boom. So then if we want to change this, let's just go back to our previous color. Right. We build it and then there it is. We could do, I don't know. Um, do uh yellow there it is okay so it looks like we have our style sheets and everything loading uh correctly if we decided to use this let's say as um or for um a web application or a javascript application whatever um we can actually see that everything's loading the way it should. If we decided to, let's say we wanted to run an alert on this. Let's just do an alert. Load it and there it is. Okay. So um, that's it for uh, compiling or building our style sheets uh, uh, through the through the, the SAS loader and then also um, loading our uh, images. So in the next video, I'm gonna continue on with the file loader and then I'm gonna also uh, dive into some dev options that we can add to this configuration file. So if you like this content that I just shared, please subscribe to this channel. Go ahead and hit that notification button while you're at it. 
so you could actually be notified when I post my next video.